Before going to the next question, let me tell you that I have already given the concept about this question earlier. But still, question is marginally confusing. On account of that reason, I would like to take up this question. Two particles have the charges Q and minus Q. For a zero net force to be exerted on the third charged particle, it must be placed first option on the perpendicular bisector of the line joining Q and minus Q, but not on the line itself. Two, on the line joining Q and minus Q to the side of Q opposite to minus Q, on the line joining Q and minus Q to the side of minus Q but opposite to Q, no such location is possible. Look here, concept is very simple, but there is every possibility that you may misunderstand the concept and end up with a wrong answer. The question is, there is a charge Q here and there is another charge minus Q. The two charges are Q and minus Q. Question is, a certain third charge is placed at different positions, we have to identify the point where the force is zero. Please note that force on the charge is zero when the intensity is zero. Hence, we have to identify the point where the electric intensity is zero. Let me once again reiterate whatever I had told earlier and try to make the points clear to you. Charges are opposite. Therefore, the null point cannot lie along the line joining them. There cannot be a null point along the line joining them. Then, the two charges are Q and minus Q. And therefore, the null point may be to the left of Q or to the right of minus Q. Please note one very important point here. To decide where the null point lies, please note one thing that null point should be closer to the smaller of the two charges. Here, that question doesn't arise because the two charges are equal in magnitude. Therefore, null point cannot be here, null point cannot be here, null point cannot be here. Null point cannot be anywhere either above or below the line joining the two charges. Hence, there is no location at all in the neighborhood of the system where the electric intensity is zero. Therefore, the correct option is no such location is possible. Before going to the next question, I would like to tell you the concept that you have to remember in answering questions of this type. The concept is, if there are n small drops which are identical and if they coalesce to form a larger drop, how to calculate the result and potential of the larger drop? The Shortcut to be remembered is, suppose n identical drops coalesce to form a single large drop, the potential of the large drop will be n to the power 2 by 3 times the potential of each of the smaller drops. If you remember this shortcut, you can answer any number of questions of this type. Let me illustrate it by taking this example. A spherical liquid drop has a diameter of 2 millimeter and is given a charge 2 into 10 to the power minus 15 coulomb. If two such drops coalesce to form a single drop, the potential at the surface of the drop formed is first option 
पॉइंट डबल जीरो सेवन वोल्ट सेकेंड ऑप्शन पॉइंट जीरो वन फोर वोल्ट थर्ड ऑप्शन पॉइंट जीरो ट्वेंटी वन वोल्ट फोर्थ ऑप्शन पॉइंट जीरो ट्वेंटी एट वोल्ट लुकिया देर आर टू ड्रॉप्स दिस इज वन ड्रॉप एंड दिस इज अनदर ड्रॉप ईच ड्रॉप इज ऑफ द डायमीटर इक्वल टू टू मिलीमीटर देर फोर रेडियस ऑफ ईच ड्रॉप कैन बी टेकन एज वन मिलीमीटर एंड बोथ कैरी द चार्जेस टू इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस फिफ्टीन कुलम वेन टू सच ड्रॉप्स क्वेलस टू फॉर्म ए सिंगल ड्रॉप पोटेंशियल ऑफ द लार्जर ड्रॉप इज रिमेंबर एन टू द पावर टू बै थ्री now the number of drops coalescing is 2 therefore n to the power 2 by 3 becomes 2 to the power 2 by 3 multiplied by potential of each drop potential of each drop is 9 into 10 to the power 9 multiplied by the charge 2 into 10 to the power minus 15 divided by the radius radius diameter is 2 mm means radius is equal to 1 mm therefore radius can be written as 10 to the power minus 3 now you have to make the calculation by shortcut he has given that 4 to the power 1 by 3 equal to 1.5874 remember 2 to the power 2 by 3 is same as 4 to the power 1 by 3 therefore to a first approximation 2 to the power 2 by 3 can be written as 1.6 note that it is it is not very advisable if you write the entire 1.5874 because we have to approximate such that calculations become simple multiplied by 9 into 2 is 18 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 15 10 raised to minus 3 will give you 10 raised to minus 12 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 12 will give you 10 raised to minus 3 calculating this one 16 eights are 128 12 16 into 1 16 plus 12 28 therefore it will become 28.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt that is v you can agree that 10 raised to minus 3 means one place second place another zero it can be written as approximately 0.028 volt therefore fourth option is the correct answer